All right, guys, welcome back to Smoke One. If you have one, my name is Eric, and today we'll be reviewing Davidoff Limited Edition 2022. Good looking cigar, it's a bigger cigar, too. Here's the foot, here's the cigar. I like the cigar look, I like the size, the ring gauge. So, I'm doing this review with the Soy Sauce Assassin on YouTube. Uh, you could go check out his page. It's a double review. Uh, if you want to know his opinion, in my opinion, see what our difference is, you can check him out. I will leave the, the, his page on the title and in the description. And yeah, so the cigar. And he's funny. He can tell you a lot of things. More than me. <laughs> kind of sweet, musty, woody on the wrapper. Sweet cedar on the foot. Yeah, let's cut it and light it. Nice clean cut. The cold draw. Creamy wood. But it's a good draw. But yeah, like I said, he's he's way more knowledgeable with cigars than me. And he's a Davidoff smoker as well. Alright, let's hit the intro. Very smooth retro hell. I didn't even know that was a retro hell. I didn't even feel it. Yeah, very smooth retro hell. There's a little bit, tiny bit of spice, like very little on that retro hell. To be honest, the flavors seem kind of muted right now. It's creamy, light wood, light cedar. Saltiness, a little bit of lingering spice, very little. But yeah, it seemed like this thing is just very muted right as of right now. There you go, there's a little cinnamon right now. Is developing. I hope it get better, not just muted. All right, I'll see you guys at the end of the first third. All right, guys, welcome back. To the first third. So the, the the first few puff, the flavor was kind of muted, but um now at least it developed. There's a little bit of sweetness, but there's a lot of woody cedar and a little bit of sweetness and the retro hell. There's a nice sweet, smooth floral to it though. It's like, it's like really smooth, tell the truth. And that's it for this first third. Let's take off this band. The first band. All right, there you go. Limited edition, 2022. All right, I see you guys. At the end of socket third, right before the band. 
All right, guys, welcome back with another second, third. So right now I have very it's earthy and mineral wood leather and a very dry on a palette. Yep. Dab it off. Yeah, it's very dry in a palette. Just earthy, woody leather and a little bit of bitterness on the end, on the tail end, on the finish. There's a little bit of sweetness on the retro hell. The retro hell is saving the cigar. A little floral. I mean, it's not a bad cigar, but it's not a outstanding cigar, in my opinion. Yeah, and that's it for the second third as well. Let's take off this band. All right, here's the band. Davidoff. Limited edition. Geneva. Yeah, there's like a bitterness now. All right, I'll see you guys at the end of the cigar. All right, guys, welcome back to the end of the cigar. So, this cigar is very disappointing. And in the, in the first third, it was a little sweetness, cedar, woody, you know, nice floral and the retro, a little sweetness, a little barnyard here and there. But this cigar, I have a lot, a lot of blind spot, and those blind spots are replaced with bitterness bitter tobacco and then there's some spot some puff it has a nice sweet tobacco to it mustiness barnyard cedar woody leathery it's a leathery cigar mineral i don't like mineral either but yeah so this cigar is just it's disappointing for davidoff limited edition 2022 um they try to make this cigar Tastes like the Yamasa, the Escuro, and what's the other one? I don't know. There's another one, but um, it doesn't. It doesn't taste it. Right now, there's, there's a lot of bitterness and the retro hell. There's a little bit of spice. It's, they have a good finish, but it's, it's a lot of just missing spot. It depends on the retro hell, which one you do or when you do it. Other than that, I would rate the cigar from 1 to 10. I would say like 5 in the middle. No, I take that back. 4.5. That's what it is. It's less than average, in my opinion. It's not that great. Yeah, it's not that great. All right, that'd be it for me. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment. And don't forget to go check out the Soy Sauce Assassin. He made a review on this cigar as well. And I'm very curious of what his thought is on this cigar because he's a Davidoff smoker. He got like every Davidoff out there. And um, yeah, so we see. We, I, I really, I'm really curious about his reaction, his review on this cigar. If you are too, you could go check out his page. I will put it on the title and the description. And that's it. Thank you.